Far away from the city of Jerusalem, there lived a mysterious tribe of people called the Magi. The Magi were filled with wisdom and understanding, and they were respected by kings and other important people. As three of these wise men were gazing out into the sky one starry night, an unusually bright light shone, brighter than any star they had ever seen. They were amazed at what they saw and were convinced it was a sign that a great king had been born. Quickly, they set out on a journey to find him. The same light that had caught the attention of the wise men also drew several shepherds out from the fields and into the quiet and lowly town of Bethlehem. The glory of God shone so brightly that they shook with fear. But an angel comforted them. Don't be afraid. I bring good news for you and all people. The Messiah, your Savior, is born this very day. After a long journey, the wise men arrived in Jerusalem. As they rode through the city, they excitedly called out, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? They knew this king would be different than any other king before. This king was promised to bring peace and joy to all the nations of the world. Surely someone would know of his coming. We have seen his star, the wise men declared, and we are here to worship him. But no one knew where this child could be found. Herod who called himself King of the Jews, was greatly troubled by the announcement of a new king, a king who might take his place. He met with the Jewish leaders and asked them where the Messiah was to be born. Then he arranged a secret meeting with the wise men and said to them, Go and look for the Messiah in the town of Bethlehem, and when you find him, let me know so that I can also worship him. But secretly Herod did not want to worship the new king, he only wanted the wise men to discover where Jesus was, so he could have him killed. As the wise men left Jerusalem and headed toward Bethlehem, they once again saw the glorious light in the night sky. This light had led them many long miles from home, and now it would lead them right to the place where Jesus was. As the wise men drew closer, they were filled with excitement and wonder. When they stepped into the house, the wise men saw a young child with his mother Mary, and they fell to the ground and worshipped him. They gave Jesus gifts fit for a king, including costly treasures of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The scene was incredible. The greatest of kings, born in the most unlikely of places. Mary took in every detail and tucked them away in her heart. She wanted to remember these precious moments for the rest of her life. Later, the wise men and Joseph, Jesus' earthly father, were warned by God in a dream that Herod intended to kill the young Messiah. God led the wise men and the new family safely out of the city of Bethlehem and far away from the evil King Herod. Eventually, Jesus and his family returned to Nazareth. As Jesus grew, he revealed more and more about who he was. He healed the sick, raised the dead, opened the eyes of the blind, and most amazing of all, he gave his life on the cross to rescue the world from the curse of sin. The wise men's journey had led them to Jesus, the Son of God, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords.